In House of the Dragon Season 2 Episode 2, Sea Smoke, the dragon previously ridden by Laner Valerium, makes a significant return hinting at his role in the upcoming Dance of the Dragons. Sea Smoke had limited appearances in the first season of House of the Dragon, most notably during the battle against the Triarchy at the Stepstones. After Laner's fake death, the future trajectory of both Laner and Sea Smoke remained ambiguous. However, Sea Smoke's reappearance in the sky above Adam, who gazes up in awe sets the stage for significant developments. Clinton Liberty joins the cast as Adam of Hull, the brother of Alin. In the source material Fire and Blood, Adam bonds with Sea Smoke, the dragon previously ridden by Laner, and rides him in the Dance of the Dragons. The TV adaptation seems to follow this storyline but introduces some complexities. Adam, much like his brother Alin, is a shipwright in service to House Valeria. However, Adam gets a remarkable scene with Sea Smoke, as the dragon flies over his head and circles above him, while he watches in wonder. This is not a random event but a deliberate setup for Adam to claim Sea Smoke later, as he does in Fire and Blood. This moment is likely to occur towards the end of Season 2. In the book, Adam's bond with Sea Smoke makes him a crucial member of Team Black in the Dance of the Dragons, participating in key battles such as the Battle of the Gullet and the Second Battle of Tumbleton. Thus far, Sea Smoke's role has been minor, but it is expected to grow significantly in House of the Dragon Season 3. In the book, it's straightforward that Adam of Hull can claim Sea Smoke. His parentage is debated. Some say he is Laner's son, others claim he is Corley's Valerion's child, but either way, he is of Valerian descent and likely has some Targaryen blood. This explains how he can bond with the dragon, and he can claim Sea Smoke specifically because Laner is dead by that point, breaking the dragon rider bond. However, this creates a problem for the show. As far as we know, Laner is still alive in House of the Dragon. The exact nature of dragon bonds is unclear as no human truly understands a dragon's mind, but it is widely accepted that a dragon bonds with a rider for life. They won't accept another rider if their current one is still alive, which creates a plot hole for House of the Dragon in explaining how Adam can claim sea smoke when the bond with Laner should still exist. Furthermore, this bond is not just an emotional connection but a mystical and almost magical link that is supposed to be unbreakable as long as both the dragon and the rider are alive. This unique bond is central to the lore and mythology of the Targaryen dragons, making the issue of Adam claiming sea smoke even more complex. Adam's ability to bond with and ride sea smoke raises significant questions for viewers who haven't read the book. Is he a Targaryen or of Valyrian descent? The simple answer is yes. When introduced, Adam and Alin are presented as Laner's bastard children, with their mother, Marilda, claiming this despite Laner being gay and not the biological father of Rhaenyra's children. Other accounts suggest they are actually Corley's bastards. Season 2 complicates this further as neither character looks traditionally Valyrian Alin is bald, and Adam has dark hair, whereas in the books, they both have silver hair. Despite this, it is implied that they are of Valyrian, specifically Valerion, descent. House of the Dragon Season 2 will hopefully provide an explanation that avoids creating a plot hole with Sea Smoke's new rider. There are several ways to achieve this. The show could exploit the ambiguous rules and understanding around dragons and their riders, perhaps establishing that Sea Smoke chooses a new rider. Although the bond with Laner should still exist, the dragon might sense that his rider will never return. Dragons are intelligent, emotional creatures, so this realization and acceptance could make sense. This explanation may not be immediately obvious, but it could be made clear through dialogue from Adam and the depiction of their developing connection. Another possibility is that Laner suddenly dies in Season 2, however, this would undermine his fake death in Season 1, which would seem cheap. Ideally, House of the Dragon can bond Adam with Sea Smoke, avoid a plot hole, and keep Laner alive but largely out of the story. This is not impossible, but it requires good writing and an understanding of the issue and its significance, as it is a key part of the show's world building and lore. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please do us a favor. Like the video, share it with others, and also subscribe to the channel because the bigger the channel gets, 
the better and faster the videos will come. Thanks for watching the video.